Hey Floss2, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and this is my fiber web where I talk about cross stitch and sometimes knitting and crochet. Today is Friday, October 18th, and this is the beginning of part 7 of my October special where I am working on a different Halloween project every day of the month and using a tiny decisions wheel to decide which one to work on each day. Most of them are new starts. I did create a playlist on my channel if you want to go back and catch up. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got done yesterday, what I have started so far today, and we are going to spin for tomorrow. So yesterday my project was... Halloween Tiny Town by Heart in Hand and I did get a bit more progress after I showed it to you yesterday I think it looks awesome um, I have not yet done any of the ghosts because the white that I'm using which is just DMC Blanc um, doesn't have quite as much contrast I mean it looks better on camera than it does at night when I'm stitching with a crappy light. <laughs> um, but I have some of the DMC glow in the dark and I was thinking about doing the moon and the three little ghosts with the glow in the dark thread. So I'm gonna leave those for last. I did put one of the little buttons on just for fun. And I'm stitching this one in hand. This is 14 count Ada and I'm just like going from left to right and I just roll it up as I go and then like I hold the rolled up part in this hand and stitch with my right hand. So yeah, very happy with how far I got yesterday. I got past the halfway point on the chart but I didn't do those ghosts so I'm probably about 50% done. And look at this little owl, he's so darling with his goofy eyes that are uneven. <laughs> okay, and then um, today's project is Autumn Dream by Cottage Garden Samplings. This is one that I had already started last month. So I pulled it out yesterday. I have a hanging thread. Um, I already had the little pumpkin cottage done. I still need to fill in the windows. And basically I just started working on the bird. So his legs and belly are new this morning and I'm going to see how far I can get on that bird today. And if I manage to finish him, which I probably will not, I will keep working on the branches or the little berries or whatever. Okay, and then I have had, I've been showing my calendar, and I have had Hawk Run Hollow on the 19th, but I'm going to be stitching that one with my friend Alex, who is Alex Stitches on Instagram, and she told me yesterday that I was wrong and it was actually Sunday, so, so I'm going to work on, I'm going to start... Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow on Sunday, which means I need to spin for tomorrow, which is Saturday. So, um, here's my wheel. Three things have been called. Let's see what we're going to do tomorrow. Field Mouse Hollow. Okay, this is a Brenda Gervais chart. It will be my first Brenda Gervais uh, with thy needle and thread. Let me grab it for you and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is Field Mouse Hollow. Um, sorry, oh, there we go, that's better. Two little mice, a big witchy looking shoe. Um, I think on my planning video I had talked about finding floss colors for this because I already have them in the bag, which is not how I've been doing this um, most of this month. I've just been finding the floss as I go. Ooh, I wonder if some of the colors I'm looking for are in here. <laughs> There's been a couple oranges that I couldn't find in my stash. Maybe it's because they're in here. That was silly. Okay, anyway, um, here are my colors, and I'm going to put it on 32 count cocoa linen by Fiber on a Whim. So that will be Saturday start, and then Sunday I get to start Hawk Run. Um, okay. I will... here, let's do this. I'll show you where I'm at here and then we'll start with this tomorrow to see how far I got. 
Here's how far I got on Autumn Dream by Cottage Garden th or Cottage Garden Samplings. Um, I will put a picture up of where it was before I worked on it yesterday. Um, so mostly I worked on the bird, but I did also fill in a couple other little spots like the windows on the pumpkin, some of these leaves, and a little bit of the branches. So I am happy with how far I got, and I might have been able to finish the bird, but I got sort of sick of this um, yesterday. I think just because it's 40 count, I wanted to work on something uh, with a lower count. And also, Stephanie and Allison of Cross Stitch the Globe just did their Mirabilia whip parade, and that made me want to work on all of the Mirabilias. So, I was actually thinking about starting another one yesterday, but I was good and decided to work on a whip instead. So this is Scent of Old Roses. I'll have to put up a picture of what it looks like because my copy of the pattern does not have the photo with it. Um, so I added... I think I have a picture also maybe from where I started. So I added her arm and brought like the... I added these browns, um, like the tan and brown color in the bottom of the skirt. So I feel like I want to work on this some more maybe today. Oh, and this is on 32 count. Mm, I don't remember the name of this color, but it was one of the called for colors from Under the Sea Fabrics for Dark Queen of the Earth. So I got it and then I didn't use it for her. I, but anyway, I thought she would, I thought... I didn't use it for the Dark Queen of the Earth, but I thought it would look good for Scent of Old Roses. So last time I showed her on my channel she was upside down, but now that her arm is there you can tell which way is up. <laughs> okay, so I kind of want to work on her some more today. I'm not sure if I will. Um, I haven't yet today because I've been working on today's spin, which is Field Mouse Hollow with thy needle and thread. Sorry about the glare. There we go. Um, so I did start this this morning, and I have been color completing. I started with the green that is in the vines, and I did those little... I'm not sure if they're supposed to be bittersweet berries, like, are in the picture around here, or if they're flowers or what, but those are all done. Um, I've finished three colors so far, and I used a different fabric than what I had chosen in my planning video. In my planning video, I was going to use... Coco by Fibrana Wim, but it's 32 count, and I decided this morning I would like this to be smaller, so I got another piece of 40 count vintage country mocha. It might be actually the same piece that Autumn Dream is on, just like a different chunk of it. So yeah, I did the green to sort of frame out the rest of this, and I'm just color completing. So those two sort of orangey shades are done. I don't know if I'm going to keep going with this today or if I'm going to switch to something else. I am trying to finish an audiobook today that is going to be returned against my will at like 7 p.m. and I still have four hours left to go and it's 1.45 right now so we're gonna see if I can make it through that and I just wanna... I'll be stitching on something probably. I don't know which one though. I'll let you know tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, uh, I do not need to spin the wheel because tomorrow is my last planned start of the month, and that is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage Health Samplings. Um, here is my copy of the chart. Ooh, I turned it the right way. I'm sure you have probably seen this a million times, but it's fantastic, so I will show you again. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to start. I was actually thinking of maybe doing a center start on this one because the fabric that I picked out for this is this 40 count bronze age by Be Stitch Me and I've talked about this before about how this fabric is much busier than the called for and I know a bunch of the squares in this are sort of full coverage or mostly full coverage and it will be fine but I kind of want to start in the middle because the witches have a lot of unstitched space so I feel like that would be a good place to make sure that it's going to look okay on this fabric. So I don't usually do a center start, but I have a couple times this month. Um, since I'm doing so many starts, it's been kind of fun to switch up what I what I do. But yeah, we'll see. This is 40 count. I don't know if I said that. So I'm going to do um, one strand over two with the DMCs. I do not have... Oh, this one doesn't look like it's charted in this 
Oh, it has needlepoint, silk conversions, and DMC. I'm going to use the DMC. Um, yeah, very excited to get this one going. Uh, this is probably the biggest of the charts that I'm starting this month. Um, okay, the only other thing I was going to say is um, I'm trying a new lip thing. It's a lip stain. It's like the Wonder Skin stuff that has been all up in my Instagram ads for quite a while now. I decided to try it. I put it on this morning and I'm trying to see how long it's going to last. So far, so good. Um, so that's why that is on and no other makeup. <laughs> so if that looks weird, sorry. And uh, I filmed this clip already once. And I got interrupted and in the first clip, Bear was not in it and now he is. So this, this is the one that's meant to be. Um, Alright, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, it is Sunday, October 20th. I'm filming a little bit earlier than usual today because I am exhausted and I'm hoping I might be able to take a nap with my toddler this afternoon. So I wanted to show you what I got done yesterday. Oh, I just I keep hitting the desk. Okay. Um, I did not work anymore on Field Mouse Hollow after I filmed yesterday. Instead, I got out my Halloween, nope, yeah, Halloween Tiny Town. And I finished it. So, um, you can see here the moon. This really shows up better on camera than in real life. This moon is hard to see IRL. Um, there's, in the pattern, there's like a bat hanging upside down from this tree and there are three ghosts and I decided to leave them off because I like how it looks like this. I also changed the bats a little bit. The bats were charted to have like some extra dangly things coming off of their wings, but to me it made them look like drones instead of bats. And then there's supposed to be a ghost coming out of this stack of pumpkins, so I added the little stem to that pumpkin instead of having the ghost coming out. So this is finish number four for the month for me, for my new... Well, they weren't all new starts, but this is my fourth Halloween finish this month. We'll say that. So this one I think I had started on Thursday and I finished it yesterday. Super happy with this and I don't have like huge margins but it's enough to finish it. Um, I was gonna maybe try to make this into a drum. It's kind of big for a drum so I don't know. I'm not sure but either that or like a long pillow and there's enough margin for either of those. Okay um, so I'm gonna do a giveaway for this chart. This chart did come with two buttons which I used so you will not have the buttons. And I did make two little pencil marks in on the color list for the DMCs that I swapped out. So I can try to erase those, or if you want to know what my conversion was, I can leave them. But um, I'm going to do a giveaway for this, so use the word... Um, Just use the word tiny in your comment if you want to be entered for this one. Please make sure you are um, subscribed to the channel, like this video, um, be 18 or older so I can get your mailing address, and then I will do a drawing for this in my next video that is at least a week from this one. Okay. And then today is Hawk Run Hollow Day. So, um, this is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. I said yesterday that I might start in the middle, and I realized that on 40 count, the dimensions of this are 18 and a half by 13 and 7 eighths, and I'm using 40 count. My piece of fabric is from Be Stitch Me, and Brandy puts the dimensions before she dyes it, so it says it's 18 by 27, but that was the size before she dyed it, and it sh shrinks about an inch in each direction, so it's only 17 inches wide and the pattern is 13 and 7 eighths so there's not a lot of margin so I I do want to I think I still want to start with the witches but I decided to start putting the frame in I have a dangling thread but that's okay so I've been doing a bunch of frame stitches um, and I'm doing the thing where I'm doing like half stitches for most of it and every 20th stitch I am crossing them. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But um, that way I don't have to count as many times and also I can use that to count off of when I'm starting the stuff inside the squares. 
So just doing the, the frame alone is like a, a lot of stitches. Each, each of these squares is 92 by 92 and then there's one in there's one rectangle in the center that's double the width so it's like 4,000 stitches I think just to do all the boxes so you can see I'm sort of here's my dangling thing I'm sort of working my way towards the center so that maybe I can start one of the motifs in there today like maybe just get one bat in or start on um, the, the moon that's right here. I also was thinking it would be cute to do like one little element of each box. So just put in like one of these little orange fish, do a little orange pumpkin in here, just to have like something in each one of them. But there's no way I'm going to be able to do all that today. It's too many stitches. So, so far I'm happy with how things are looking on this fabric. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to be good. Um, did I say? I think I said in the clip yesterday, but this is, it's called Bronze Age. This is the color. Okay, so let's spin for tomorrow, and then I want to get this edited and posted so that I can take a nap and not have to worry about this. Um, it helps if you know your pin. Okay. Oh, it unselected my stuff. Feel not hollow, autumn dream, you are dead. Halloween tattoo. Okay, I think that's right. So, those are the four that have been called. Let's spin for tomorrow. Okay, something wicked. This is a Barbara Anna chart. This is the one that I was going to put on the same fabric as Field Moss Hollow, and then I changed my mind, so let me grab it for you. Okay, so here is um, Something Wicked by Barbara Anna. Uh, I think I bought this at Creative Poppy and just printed it. This is one of the earlier purchases that I have, so it's been sitting in a binder, waiting. Um, and it says, by the pricking of my thumbs, Something Wicked this way comes. I'm super excited to stitch this creepy witch. Uh, she's got a little owl. There's a cat. I like that there's a border just on one side. So the fabric that I'm going to use is 32 Count Coco um, by Fiber and Whim. So mine's a little bit darker, but there are some... There's like moon and stars in here that are hard to see. Oh, there you go. You can see them a little better. So I think those will show up a little bit better on the darker fabric and everything else will have plenty of contrast. So I'm very excited about this one. It says it will be about uh, 7 by 8 on the 32 count. So that will be Monday's start and tomorrow is the 21st so after that there's not that many days left until Halloween, till the end of the month and um, a bunch of what is left on my wheel is whips so I don't know why the wheel seems to know and is avoiding it's avoiding the whips um, let's see of the things that are remaining I think four four of the remaining projects for the month are new starts and that means that one two three four five is that right? Five are whips. So the days that are whips are a little bit easier because obviously the project has already started so it's easier to just jump in and keep going. Um, but yeah, I am having I am having fun obviously with all the new starts. I I think it was I think it was Natasha from Bridges that Get Stitches that said that she did something like this for Mania maybe and that uh, it was awful, and she, <laughs> it was like too much. And I'm not feeling like it's been too much. I don't know if you think it's too much watching me, but I'm having a good time, and I've said it a few times before, like most of this stuff, including the fabric, the floss, and the charts, were already in my stash from previous Halloweens, so it feels right to me to 
be starting them rather than having them just continue to collect dust. Um, it is a lot of new starts. Uh, and I, I also have added in a couple extra new starts this month that were not planned, so um, just completely unhinged over here, but having a good time. So I hope that you are still enjoying this series too. I was thinking I'll probably do like a wrap-up video maybe at the end of the month just to go quickly through the things I finished and, you know, show how far I got on everything. For those people who don't want to watch these vlog clips, they can get an overview, a longer video. Um, but yeah, we will see. So, uh, take care. Happy Sunday if you're watching this on Sunday. Happy whatever day it is if you're not, and I will see you in the next one.